707, I'm going to call the annual town or the special town meeting for Dudley, Massachusetts to order. As of 6.55 this evening, we had a quorum of 56 registered voters, and as such, we can continue with our meeting as that number's continued to climb. Any non-residents, guests, or visitors, please make sure you're down in the front three rows uh, to my left, so that way, except for town council. Uh, to my left so that you can be easily identified. And as a reminder, uh, for decorum and procedure in accordance with uh, Town of Dudley bylaws governing our town meeting, all hats must be removed for the duration of the meeting with the exception of active duty military or other uniformed municipal or state officers. Thank you for attending to that on your own. At this time, please stand to join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Thank you. If you could, please, uh, you can grab a seat. Thank you. Uh, as you know, um, it's very important for us to honor those who have faithfully served the town in various capacities, elected officials, those, of the, those who've engaged in service uh, uh, with occupation, as well as those who provided community service. I'd like to take a moment to recognize them, those who have passed within the last period of our town meetings. Also, with Veterans Day approaching, it's very important to acknowledge the current military officers and veterans who've provided great sacrifice and service to our country to allow us opportunities like this and continue a great democratic tradition. Uh, please join me in a brief moment of silence to have that reflection. Thank you very much. Uh, as you know, this evening we're going to hear from a variety of town officials, board members, and perhaps those uh, in employed by various municipal departments. Uh, we may hear from our town council uh, to clarify any information within our articles. Uh, and it, it, there will be residents also approaching uh, the microphone. Uh, before we actually get into the articles and go through our tutorial with the clickers, uh, there are some procedural elements that I'd like to hit. Uh, but first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to one particular member of the audience uh, who's here this evening. Uh, for 23 years, he has served in the capacity uh, that he's finishing up this evening. Uh, Mr. Ted Barron, 23 years of dedicated service as our uh, cable access uh, guru. Thank you, Ted, for all your service. So as I mentioned, we do have a number of announcements and procedural guidelines to take care of and hit tonight. I will not go through every little bit of the town bylaws governing town meeting, but there are some pieces that we need to focus on so we're all on the same uh, page. Town meeting will continue tomorrow evening, October 25th of 2022 at 7 p.m. only if necessary. My hope is that we'll recess uh, well ahead of halftime of the Patriots game this evening. Uh, but uh, in the event that we do extend to 10.30, I would ask that we take up no business after, no new business after 10.15, uh, unless, of course, that will save us the extra night. Uh, so procedural guidelines, uh, cell phones, please turn your ringers off uh, to silent. If you must do so, uh, taking a call, please utilize the cafeteria or exit. Make sure that you turn your clicker in when you do leave the, uh, the auditorium for the cafeteria, and when you do return, you will be able to get another clicker. Procedural rules are in accordance with the town bylaws and are available by the town clerk, the town website, and the Dudley Public Library. If you're in doubt on a specific point this evening, you should consult those primary sources of authority uh, or uh, ask for a point of order or clarification. Uh, restrooms are located out in the lobby to your left uh, when you exit out into the cafeteria. Again, please leave your clicker at the back uh, and return and you will receive a clicker. If we do have an exit uh, because of an emergency, uh, there are doors located up here off the stage to either side and out the back. Uh, those doors over by Lieutenant uh, are actually blocked, so we will have to utilize the left-hand side exits. And the entire Delhi Fire Department is here to hear me say that. That's uh, fantastic. Uh, to be recognized this evening, many of you will want to participate. You may have comments, you may have questions. At the time when you are recognized, uh, please please stand, hold your hand, I will call attention to you. Uh, you may approach the microphone here in the center aisle. Please make sure that you state your name and your address. 
uh, each time you do approach the microphone, uh, please, so that we can have that entered into the record. Uh, if you are speaking to multiple articles uh, this evening, yeah, please make sure you state your name uh, and address each time you speak. Uh, the sound system that we have is not native to Shepherd Hill. Uh, it should continue working this evening quite well. Uh, if there are any technical issues or glitches, we will do our best to get those fixed uh, and uh, continue with the town meeting. In the event that the sound system is not working properly, I will use my cafeteria teacher voice and you will be understanding every word, I promise. Through unanimous consent, I request that clarification for a department budget item or other article be required that employees or agents who are not residents but acting on behalf of the town of Dudley or petitioners of the article be permitted to speak. Are there any in opposition to this rule this evening? Hearing none, I thank you, and uh, we will permit uh, outside agents of Dudley to be able to present if necessary. Uh, during debate, please only speak to the issues. If I determine that your comments are not germane to the specific issue at hand, example, if a motion is made and seconded uh, for uh, Passover of an article, the discussion of that at that point is only relative to the Passover of the article. We did run into some procedural issues last town meeting where I did let some latitude uh, lie with discussion germane to the article but not to the actual motion. Uh, we will look to keep the motion as the primary uh, focus of the conversation. Uh, as a reminder, and looking out at the audience, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, I, I see some great uh, professionalism out of you already. Uh, please note that we do not cheer or jeer uh, points that are made by members of the public or our elected representatives. Except for the petitioner and certain town officials, you may only speak twice to a motion and your comments are limited to a specific time limit. All questions must be addressed through me, the chair. If you do ask a question, you do not lose the floor and the answer is not counted as part of your speaking time. As part of Robert's rules of order, the meeting limit, uh, the the rule of the meeting limiting debate to five minutes per speaker is being requested as opposed to the typical 10 minutes. Are there any objections to adopting that rule for this evening? The rule being typically 10 minutes per speaker, looking to have five minutes per speaker per article. Seeing none, I once again thank you. We can move this meeting along tonight. Uh, we will have a time limit of five minutes per speaker and if there is latitude that's necessary, I will provide that. Voting is typ typical then by voice vote, except in situations where a three quarter, two thirds vote is required. However, we have the use of our clicker technology at hand now. Uh, voting will not be by voice this evening unless we have a technology issue preventing use of the clicker system. Prior to jumping in and dispensing with the reading of the warrant and starting off this evening, I'd like to go ahead and do our clicker tutorial with you. Uh, so if you can, please grab your clickers. Uh, please note that, as you can see up on the screen, uh, we have yes votes and no votes. Yes votes are one, A, and no votes are two or B. If you push the wrong button, you have until the time that the voting closes to change your vote. So if the answer was you know, that you were going to enter was one A, yes, but you were really meant to vote no, as long as you enter no by the end of the voting period, there will be a clock on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Uh, you can change your vote at that time, the conclusion of the timing, your vote will be locked in, and we will uh, go ahead and read the final uh, vote. Uh, let's see, is there any other? Oh yeah, please don't bring this home. Uh, one young lady at the back mentioned that she had several from the past couple of months uh, of town meetings and they don't do anything else uh, that's in the home. Uh, I'm joking, she was actually joking, but I'm being serious. Please turn these back in uh, at the end of the night so Ms. Smith uh, doesn't have to hunt you down. Uh, shall we do the tutorial? Oh. Uh, good, green light, red light, yes. Uh, green light indicates that your vote has been recorded. Uh, red light indicates that uh, you are, your vote was not registered. So we're going to go ahead now and advance on into our tutorial. Uh, please note that this is a very complicated question and there are a few plants in the audience, so we should have a couple of incorrect answers here. Uh, is today Monday, October 24th of 2022? And uh, please cast your vote at this time. Uh, 1A for yes and 2B for no. 
And if you notice in the bottom right hand side, there is a counter clicking down. It is down to five, uh, four. And notice that we did have 5% of the audience, thank you for those plants, enter B for uh, the wrong answer. 95% of you knew today was October 24th. And uh, let's advance on to our second and final question. No, there are no second and final questions. Does anybody have any questions for our clicker tutorial? Alrighty, so seeing none, uh, let's go ahead and call Ms. Smith up for the uh, dispensation of the warrant. To either of the constables in the town of Dudley, in said county greetings. In the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify and warn the inhabitants of the town of Dudley, qualified to vote in elections and town affairs to meet in the Connie Vanco Galley Auditorium at the Shepherd Hill Regional High School, 68 Dudley Oxford Road, in said Dudley on Monday, October 24, 2022, and Tuesday, October 25, 2022, if needed, and any other such times as may be voted, if needed, at 7 p.m. there and then to take action on the following articles. Thank you, Ms. Smith, and certification of the delivery of the warrant. I have here notified and warned the inhabitants of the town of Dudley by posting up attested copies of the same at the Dudley Municipal Center on the 7th of October, 2022. I also observed it posted on the town's website and notice of availability on the Dudley Cable Access Channel on October 7th of October, 2022. Hereby making my return to the Dudley Town Clerk on the 7th of October, 2022. And I have read the second part first, so I'm gonna go back and do what I should have done in the beginning. Um, you are hereby directed to serve this warrant by posting attested copies thereof at the Dudley Municipal Center and on the Town of Dudley website, and by posting notice of availability of the warrant on one cable access channel. Warrant to be posted at least 14 days before holding of said meeting. Hereof, fail not, and make due return of this warrant with your doing thereon to the Town Clerk at the Town of Holding of said meeting. Given under our hands this third day of October in the year 2022, signed Jason Johnson, John Marcy, Kerry Siganavich, Stephen Sullivan, and Mark Landry, Dudley Board of Selectmen. Thank you very much. Before we jump into Article uh, 1, uh, just a, remind, a couple of reminders to the citizens of Dudley. Uh, Monday, October 31st of 2022 is trick-or-treating in the town of Dudley. We will be trick-or-treating from 5 to 7. Please be mindful of that as a reminder. Uh, if you are participating as uh, a resident in hosting trick-or-treaters, the porch light is a great uh, uh, way to signify that you are participating. So please leave your porch lights on from 5 to 7 p.m. And if you are driving around town, please be mindful that there will be a number of youngsters and families out and about. Uh, a brief thank you to the Dudley Women's Club. Uh, recently, I had the good fortune to attend the uh, October meeting and participate in the Bra Dazzle Parade, which uh, was designed to raise money for breast cancer uh, survivors, as well as the Breast Friends Organization. I would encourage all members of our Board of Selectmen, as well as uh, other municipal officers and departments, uh, to participate if you could next year. Uh, it's a wonderful event, and uh, we were up to three men in the room uh, this year. Uh, I was happy to be one of them. Uh, we'd love to have more of you join us at the Dudley Women's Club uh, October meeting of next year. Uh, and lastly, November 8th is Election Day in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, as you are here this evening in the auditorium, those of you at home tuning in, please rem be reminded that this opportunity to participate in the democratic process is exceptionally important. And uh, whether you are left, right, or right down the middle, uh, please exercise your rights uh, to vote and be a determinant in the future of our Commonwealth uh, as we move forward. So without further ado, let's jump into Article 1. Uh, Article 1, the Board of Selectmen, Town Reports, to see if the town will vote to receive the reports of the several town officers and or committees or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayotte. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The FAA recommends that you approve Article 1 as written, and I so Motion has been made and seconded discussion for Article 1. Seeing none, we'll call for a vote on Article 1. Okay. 
and that passes with a clear majority. Article two, the Board of Selectmen recommendations to hear and act on the recommendations of the Board of Selectmen and the Finance and Appropriation Advisory Committee or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends you approve Article 2 as written and I say. Motion has been made and seconded. Article 2, is there any discussion? Seeing none, we'll move Article 2 forward to a vote. All in favor, please press 1. All opposed, please press 2. town will vote to transfer from account number listed in the warrant, fill in labor, the sum of $975.71 to pay missed payroll to animal control account number listed in the warrant or take any other action relative there too. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends we approve Article 3 as printed in this motion. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion on Article 3? Seeing no discussion, we'll move Article 3 forward to a vote. All in favor, one. All opposed, two. There is our clear majority for passing Article 3. Article 4. Uh, ratification of the May 23rd, 2022 town meeting vote. To see if the town will vote to ratify and approve and confirm the following vote taken under Article 12 of the warrant for the May 23rd, 2022 annual town meeting or to take any other action relative there too. Uh, please note that uh, in the fourth line of Article 4 as printed, there is a Scrivener's error. It indicates May 3rd of 2022. It should be May 23rd of 2022. As declared by the moderator, approved by a two-thirds majority, 79% vote, to borrow the sum of $775,000.00 for the purchase of a new Engine 3 fire truck, as recommended by the Capital Improvement Committee, to be included on the Fire Department's Capital Improvement Plan, and to meet said appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the selectmen, to authorize to borrow such sum un under and consistent with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 7, or any other source of authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the town, therefore. Said amount shall be subject to a Proposition 2 and a half debt exclusion ballot question in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 59, Section 21C, Paragraph K. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends you approve Article 4, ratifying the May 23rd, 2022 town meeting vote, and I so move. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion for Article 4? Yes, Mr. Fox. My name is Peter Fox, 12 Ridge Drive. It's extremely important that we ratify this article and approve it as written. It passed before and it should pass tonight again, and I, for one, urge all of you to support this article. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'd like to call town council. There were some questions uh, prior as to why this may be returning, uh, despite the successful vote uh, earlier this calendar year. Thank you, Mr. Moderator, and through you, Mr. Moderator. Um, I heard when I came in uh, a couple of questions as to why we're we voting this, or is this, in fact, another fire truck? Rest assured, it is not another fire truck. You voted this back in May 23rd, 2020, at the last town meeting, uh, you gave two-thirds approval to borrow for the fire truck. Uh, contingent upon what is known as a debt exclusion from the block two and a half uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 limit on increasing uh, your taxes. Uh, under Prop two and a half, under 59 section 21C M, uh, in order for that debt exclusion to happen, there has to be, it's a two-step process. You have to have a town meeting vote, and you have to have a ballot question. The ballot question 
has to be done by September 15th if it was approved at an annual town meeting. Unfortunately, the way things worked out, we did not have another ballot. We did not have another election prior to the expiration of the September 15th deadline. So what we've done is we've put the ballot question on the November 8th ballot, and we've come back now to ratify this so that we can start the clock ticking again. This is nothing that you haven't already done. It's really to, to kind of reset the clock and, and, and comply with a technical requirement of the statute. Thank you. Seeing no other discussion for Article 4, we'll go ahead and call Article 4 to a vote at this time. One in the affirmative, two in the negative. successful vote for Article 4. Article 5, cyclical inspections to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash a sum of $21,400 to fund the cost of the cyclical inspections of all properties in town that have not been inspected in the past 10 years for FY 2023 as required by the State Department of Revenue or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends you pass Article 5 as printed in the warrant with the appropriation uh, transfer from free cash of $21,400. And I so move. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion for Article 5. Seeing none, we'll move Article 5 forward for a vote. One in the affirmative, two in the negative. Article 6, Fund Zone Renovation, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, borrow or transfer from available funds the sum of $380,000.00 to rebuild, restore, and renovate the Fund Zone Playground located at 71 West Main Street, Dudley, Mass. And to meet said appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the selectmen, is authorized to borrow such sum under and consistent with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 7, or any other source of authority, or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends you pass over Article 6 and I so move. Motion has been made to pass Article 6 over and seconded. Is this discussion for the Passover? Yeah, I'll recognize town council. Thank you. Sir, may, may I speak with the movement? <coughs> yes, please. Uh, I'll amend my motion. Uh, we recommend that you pass Pass over Article 6 for further information, and I so move. I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. Yes? Motion to be even seconded. Thank you. Uh, to pass over Article 6 for further information. Uh, discussion? Yes. Good evening, Mr. Moderator. Richard Clark, 65 Airport Road. Uh, how long are we going to kick this can down the road? I mean, uh, the fun zone, as I could see it, as I perceive it, is a civic embarrassment uh, sitting as it does right next to the municipal complex. Uh, it's a civic responsibility, I would think, to finally do something with this property. One of the things that I think may be overlooked is when I was bringing my grandson to the quote fun zone, now no fun zone, this is one area that actually has some shade. If you look at the playgrounds in most of the adjoining towns, you're out in the, the sun. And for some of us of a certain age, that's probably not the best thing to happen. Uh, the kids don't seem to mind it all that much. But this was, I, th I thought, one of the quality of life issues for the town of Dudley, and I would like to see this go forward, frankly. There any additional discussion? Yes, uh, in the middle aisle, thank you. Playground that we're talking about. 
First of all, $380,000. I don't know what's a building down there, but it must be awfully big. Because you can put a playground in there. For about $80,000, you still have change left. All you gotta do is pull the old equipment out and have your contractor go in and fix it. It's not a big deal, but it's a waste of a lot of money, I think, anyways. And I want it on the ballot. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Siganich. So it isn't to prolong anything. It, it's to see, it's to, to give the women's club a chance to fundraise and to see if we can get any other grants. Because like the gentleman said, $380,000, that's a lot of money. And whenever you do anything nowadays, you have to do it within certain parameters. It's got to meet certain ADA and other types of requirements, which adds money to the, adds money to the bottom line of it. So we're trying to get this done, we're just trying to get this done in the most financially and advantageous way for the townspeople. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Siganovich. Any additional discussion on passing over Article 6? Seeing none, your vote is about to be for a Passover on Article 6, so one is a yes, a two is a no. Please cast your vote at this time to pass over Article 6. Affirmatively passed over. Article 7, carpet replacement. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate borrow or transfer from available funds the sum of $90,000 or some such sum to replace the carpeting at the Pearl L. Crawford Memorial Library or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayock. The FAA recommends you pass over Article 7 as written and I so Uh, motion's been made and seconded. Is the discussion? Yes. Good evening again, Mr. Moderator. Richard Clark, 65 Airport Road. I would ask that we not kick this can down the road any further. This is, I understand, it has been part of the capital improvement plan for a number of years. Uh, we we seem to want to push aside, if you will, these uh, what I would call quality of life issues, and I think this is one that speaks to that, if you will. Uh, I would like to see a, an actual vote on this this evening, or to paraphrase one of the selectmen in a recent meeting, let the people decide. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Seeing no additional dis... Oops, did I see a hand? I'm sorry. No, nope. just an inch, sorry. Uh, seeing no additional discussion uh, for Article 7, the Passover, please cast your vote for passing over A, affirmative, B, negative. The article has been passed over. Article 8, salary increases. To see if the town will transfer the sum of $5,510.14 from free cash for the purposes of FY23 compensation adjustments retroactive to July 1, 2022 as follows. For the treasurer collector in the amount of $2,665.53 to the account number listed, and for the town clerk in the amount of $2,844.61 to the account number listed, or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor? The FAA recommends you pass Article 8 as printed in the warrant, and I so move. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion for Article 8. Seeing none, we'll move Article 8 forward for a vote. Uh, please cast your vote for 1A, affirmative, 2B, negative. Article 8 has passed. 
Article 9, deposit into stabilization. See if the town will vote to transfer from free cash the amount of 514,882 and 79 cents and deposit the amount of 23,326 and 10 cents into the capital improvement stabilization fund and the amount of 491,556 and 69 cents to the stabilization fund or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mapp? The FAA recommends you pass Article 9 and I so move. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there discussion on Article 9? Seeing none, we'll move Article 9 forward to a vote. 1A is affirmative, 2B is negative. Article 10, Tobin Farms Road Betterment. To see if the town will vote to authorize the treasurer with approval from the Board of Selectmen to borrow $401,000 or some such sum to be expended under the control of the Highway Department for improvements to private way access to the Tobin Farms subdivision, including incidental and related costs for said improvements and to meet said appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the Selectmen is authorized to borrow such sum under and consistent with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 7, or any other service source of authority. And further, the Board of Selectmen acting pursuant to authority granted under General Law Chapter 80 in the town's road betterment bylaw shall assess betterments on all property benefited for the purposes of recovering the costs thereof, or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends that you appropriate the sum of $401,000 for the purpose set forth in Article 10 of the Warrant, and that to fund this appropriation, the Treasurer, with the approval of the Board of Selectmen, is authorized to borrow said amount pursuant to General Law Chapter 44, Subsection 7 or 8, or any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the town therefore. And I so move. Motion's been made and seconded. Prior to discussion, please note that this motion will require two thirds. Oh. Is there any discussion for Article 10? Yes. Good evening, Mr. Moderator. Charles Comier, 18 Tobin Drive. I just want to make sure that this article is not to exceed $401,000 and not up to or any sum over. It's important that a state not to exceed. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, the, the sum the sum is uh, 401 as stated in the article. It wants not to exceed that. It can come in but it can't exceed. It. My, my concern is it says or some such that would some be, to be expended would be amount under the 401. Yeah, yeah it's a good, good question. Uh, procedurally, the 401 is the max, and we can borrow less than that if needed. Seeing no additional discussion for Article 10, we'll go ahead and move forward. We're looking for a two-thirds vote uh, in the affirmative or the negative. Uh, a is affirmative, B is negative. Well, that was awfully close. 67% is a two-thirds majority. Article 10 has successfully passed. Article 11, Misty Meadows Betterment. To see if the town will vote to authorize the treasurer with approval of the Board of Selectmen to borrow uh, I'm sorry, $237,000 or some such sum to be expended under the control of the Highway Department for improvements to the private way access to the Misty Meadows subdivision, including incidental and related costs for said improvements and to meet said appropriation. The treasurer, with the approval of the Selectmen, is authorized to borrow under such sum and consistent with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 7 or any other source of authority. And further, the Board of Selectmen acting pursuant to the authority granted under General Law Chapter 80 and the town's road betterment bylaw shall assess betterments on all property benefited for the purpose of recovering the cost thereof or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends that you appropriate the sum of $237,000 for the purposes set forth in Article 11 of the Warrant and that to fund this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the Board of Selectmen, is authorized to borrow said amount pursuant to General Law Chapter 44, Subsection 7 or 8, or any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds and notes of the town, therefore. And I so move. 
Motion's been made and seconded. Uh, just as a point of note, this will require a two-thirds vote as well. Is there any discussion on Article 11? Seeing none, we'll move Article 11 forward for a vote. We are looking for a two-thirds majority. Article 11A, affirmative, B, negative. You know, I had basketball tryouts earlier this evening over at Dudley Middle School. I would have prepared the music I prepared for you last year uh, to fill this void. So uh, apologies. Uh, I just didn't have time to get that done this evening. Just hang tight. They can declare. You can declare. Yeah, you can declare. It says 66. It would be better to have numbers. Yeah, I'd like to have the numbers. There's a way to do it. I know there's a way to do it. Usually you do the numbers instead of the percentage. I asked, and she said we do percents. That's what we've done in the other one. I mean, the percents is fine, except in this case. I just want to call it 66%. Probably good. All right, based on the information that we have, I am going to go ahead and declare that that article has been defeated at 66%. Uh, the reason being, last article passed was 67%, and uh, it seems like because of rounding, 66.66 uh, would round up to 67. So this article has been defeated. Article 12, Zoning Amendment Hours of Operation. To see if the town will vote to amend the Dudley Zoning Bylaw 3.15.00 Medical and Adult Use Marijuana Establishments by amending the existing additional requirements and conditions under 3.15.054C, Time and Manner, by deleting the strike through language and inserting the underlined language or take any other action relative thereto. C, the hours of operation shall be set by the planning board, but in no event shall a marijuana establishment or medical marijuana treatment center engage, engaged in retail sales be open to the public, and no sale or other such distribution of marijuana shall occur upon the premises or via delivery from the premises between the hours of strike out 8 p.m., insert 10 p.m., and 8 a.m. Mr. Matt? Uh, FAA will defer to the planning board for a motion. Thank you. Uh... Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Guy Horn, 3 Linda Vista Lane. At its October 12, 2022 planning board meeting, the board held the required public hearing on the proposed amendment. Upon closing of the hearing, the board voted 4 0 unanimously to recommend approval of this amendment to town meeting, and I so move. Motion's been made and seconded. Uh, please note that before discussion, this article will require a two-thirds uh, majority vote. Is there any discussion on Article 12? Seeing none, we'll move Article 12 forward to a vote. All in favor, one. All opposed, two.
article 12 passes with a clear two-thirds majority. Article 13, to rezone property on Fish Road from Industrial 130 to Residential 43, to see if the town will vote to amend the official Dudley zoning map by changing the zoning district from Industrial 130 to Residential 43 for eight properties identified as Assessor's Map 220, Lots 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, and 12, as shown on a map entitled Proposed rezoning on Fish Road from Industrial 130 to Residential 43. Said proposed zoning map amended, amendment dated February 2022, which is attached as addendum A, or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor? Oh, I'm sorry. No, Mr. Horn. I get so used to saying that over the past few years. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. At its October 12, 2022 planning board meeting, the board held the required public hearing on the proposed amendment. Upon closing the hearing, the board voted 4-0 unanimously uh, to recommend approval of the amendment to the town meeting, and I so move. Motion has been made and seconded. Is there any discussion on Article 13? Prior to moving Article 13 to a vote, please note that this does require a two-thirds majority. At this time, we'll move Article 13 to a vote. Uh, all in the all in favor, one, all opposed, two. Motion passes. Article 14, to establish a requirement for electrical vehicle charging stations to see if the town will vote to amend the Dudley Zoning Bylaw, Section 4.01.00 parking standards by adding a new section, 4.01.09 electric vehicle charging stations to establish a requirement for electrical vehicle charging stations in parking lots of 20 or more spaces or take any other action relative thereto. 4.01.09 electrical vehicle charging stations. For every new or renovated parking lot containing 20 or more parking spaces, there shall be provided one electric vehicle charging station for each multiple of 20 spaces in accordance with the following chart. As you can see, every 20 does require uh, one station, 20 to 39, one, 40 to 59, two, 60 to 79, three, 80 to 99, four, and 100 or more, five. Mr. Horn. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. At its October 12, 2022 planning board meeting, the board held the required public hearing on the proposed amendment. Upon closing the hearing, the board voted three to one to recommend approval of the amendment to town meeting and ask some move. Motion's been made and seconded. Is there any discussion on article 14? Uh, yes, we'll go blue shirt and back of the mic and then come down here. Good evening, my name is Mike Small from 61 Mason Road. I'd like to know what the meaning of renovated is. Mr. Horn? We would, we would consider renovation anytime you would remove asphalt or reclaim it, um, do physical construction to the parking lot. If you're simply patching a pothole or a crack, uh, seal coating your parking lot or restriping your parking lot, that would be considered maintenance, not re, uh, remodeling or renovation. Yes, follow up. Follow up question, is that in writing somewhere so it doesn't get lost in this meeting? It's in our, I don't think it's in the zoning amendment, um, Bill. Could you speak to that? Our town planner will try and speak to the question. Basically, we, he wants the definition of renovation. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Bill Sandler, town planner. Uh, you know, I think the chairman described it, uh, what is considered a renovation of a parking lot. There was no definition proposed as part of this article to define that. But I think the planning board would um, be using its discretion uh, when applicants submit uh, plans for uh, parking lots, whether this section would apply or not. Thank you. Uh, 
Yes. Kristen Mayer, 22 Southbridge Road. Is there any consideration for nonprofit organizations and the exorbitant costs that this would actually cause in addition for any renovations that would take place? Thanks, Mr. Warren. We haven't looked at nonprofits for this particular article. Um, I can tell you that I did do some research at my own company. Um, the cost of installing one of these charging stations for, for my company was approximately $900. So. Thank you. Is there any additional discussion on Article 14? Seeing none, we'll move Article 14 to a vote. Article 14 does require a two-thirds majority vote. All in favor, one. All opposed, two. Article 14 has been defeated. Article 15, shared driveway standards. Uh, through prior to reading this article, through unanimous consent, I would like permission to uh, avoid reading the entire article. Is there anybody opposed to this? Fantastic crowd. Thank you. Hearing no opposition, I will read a portion of Article 15. Shared driveway standards to establish design standards for shared driveways. To see if the town will vote to amend the Dudley Zoning Bylaw, Section 7.01.00, Driveway Slash Curb Cut Permit, Subsection 4F, by inserting the following underlying language as design, stand, as design standards for construction of shared driveways, or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Horn. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. At its October 12, 2022 planning board meeting, the board held the required public hearing on the proposed amendment. Upon closing the hearing, the board voted three to one to recommend approval of the amendment to the town meeting, and I so move. Article's been made and seconded. Discussion for Article 15. Seeing none, we'll move Article 15 to a vote. As a reminder, this also does require a two-thirds majority vote. One in affirmative, two in the negative. Article 15 has been defeated. Article 16 to allow self, uh, yes. Do we have a lot of difficulty there? Just a quick joy. Yes? All right, good. I had a lot of difficulty too. I thought I was in jeopardy mode. Uh, can we reset that question and pass it forth? I, I think I clicked at 27. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> we, we are jumping back to Article 15. Uh, we've gone through all the procedural. We're pushing it forward to a vote. We're looking for a two-thirds majority vote. Uh, a in the affirmative, B in the negative, and we can try it. I'm seeing thumbs up from around the crowd. Thank you. And here I was thinking it was just me. Article 15 has been defeated. 58% to 42%. Article 16, to allow self-service storage facilities in the Mill con Conversion Overlay District to see if the town will vote to amend the Dudley Zoning Bylaw, Section 3.10.05, a, a permitted uses, in the Mill Conversion Overlay District by adding self-service storage facilities after community facility and to amend Section 6, definitions, by adding a new definition for self-service storage facilities as indicated below or take any other action relative thereto. 3.10.05 permitted uses. Within a MCP, residential use or assisted living facility, shall be permitted in conjunction with one or more of the following specified non-residential uses by special permit. A, commercial, restaurant, retail sales or services, business or professional offices, bank or financial office, indoor commercial recreation, event center, community facility, insert self-serving service storage facilities or office establishment. Section six definition, self-service storage facilities, 
The temporary storage of personal possessions in containers or individual rentable or leasable spaces where the occupants themselves customarily store and remove their person own personal property on a self-service basis. Storage of flammable liquids, highly combustible or explosive materials or hazardous chemicals is prohibited. Mr. Horn. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. At its October 12, 2022 meeting, the Planning Board held a required public hearing on this proposed amendment. Upon closing the hearing, the Board voted 4-0 unanimous to recommend approval of this amendment to town meeting, and I so move. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion on Article 16. Seeing none, we'll move Article 16 to a vote. Uh, this does require a two-thirds majority vote. All in favor, one. All opposed, two. Article 16 is passed. Article 17, acceptance of gift. To see if the town will vote to authorize the Board of Selectmen to acquire, by gift or by or for general and for general municipal purposes, a certain parcel of land from the estate of Jeffrey Watkins, situated on Baker Pond Road in the town of Dudley, County of Worcester, Massachusetts, and identified by the assessors as parcel 205-032-000, described in any deed recorded with the Worcester South District Registry of Deeds in Book 58187, page 67, and containing 18.75 acres, more or less, or take any other action relative thereto. Please note that this is shown as map A and attached to this warrant. Mr. Johnson. I move to approve Article 17 as printed in the warrant. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion for Article 17. Seeing none, we'll move Article 17 forward. Uh, please cast A for yay, B for nay. The majority votes required. Article 17 is passed. Article 18, Scrivener's Error Correction. To see if the town will vote to amend the Scrivener's Error on Article 24 on the annual town meeting warrant dated June 22, 2020, by deleting the strike through and adding the bolded as follows. Acceptance of fourth paragraph of Mass General Law Chapter 40, Section 5B, to see if the town will vote to accept the fourth paragraph of General Law Chapter 40, Section 5B, under which the town may dedicate without further appropriation, all or a percentage not less than 25% of particular fees, charges, or other receipts for any to any stabilization fund established under General Law Chapter 40, Section 5B, to be effective for fiscal year, strike commending, insert commencing, July 1, 2020, or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Johnson. I move to approve Article 18 as printed in the warrant. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion on Article 18. Seeing none, we'll move Article 18 to a vote. One, a, yay, two, nay. Article 18 is passed. Article 19, local marijuana tax scrutiny is our correction to see if the town will vote to ratify its prior acceptance of the provisions of Massachusetts general laws Chapter 64N, Section 3, to impose an excise tax on the retail sale of marijuana for adult use at a rate of 3% or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Johnson. I move to approve Article 19 to ratify the May 21st, 2018 town meeting vote as printed in the warrant. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Discussion on Article 19. Seeing none, we'll move Article 19 forward to a vote. One in the affirmative, two in the negative. <coughs> Article 19 has passed successfully. Article 20, lead service line inventory and replacement plan to see if the town will vote to transfer from water retained earnings the sum of $200,000 from a lead service line inventory replacement plan 
including the payment of costs incidental or related thereto pursuant to the 2021 Lead and Copper Rule Revisions, LCRR, which require all public water systems to complete an inventory of utility and customer-owned service lines connected to its distribution system and prepare a replacement plan by October 2024. And further, this appropriation is contingent upon the town applying for and receiving full forgiveness on a loan application for said funds or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayotte. The FAA recommends you pass Article 20 as written, and I so move. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Uh, we'll move it forward for discussion. Mr. Mayor? Okay, okay. sorry, just check. Uh, seeing that there's no discussion on Article 20, we will go ahead and move Article 20 forward for a vote. One in the affirmative, two in the negative. Article 20 is passed. Article 21, the purchase of a new dump truck to see if the town will vote to appropriate the sum of $250,000 or some such sum from water retained earnings, account number listed for the purchase of a new dump truck for the water department or take any other action relative thereto. Mr. Mayor. The FAA recommends you approve Article 21 as printed in the warrant and I so move. Motion's been made and seconded. Is it? Yes, Mr. Council. Mr. Mayor? I'd like to amend my motion. Yes, please. Uh, FAA recommends uh, that you uh, uh, appropriate $250,000 as printed in Article 21 of the warrant, and I so move. Motion has been made and seconded. Discussion for Article 21. Yes. Small 61 Mason Road, Dully. Quick question: We already have one dump truck. I believe it's one and a half to two ton dump truck. Why do they need another? They only have three active employees. One of, one of the employees runs a backhoe. One employee is not qualified to run the current dump truck they have now. Why do we need another? We have a town of Dudley Highway Department that has dump trucks and can bring in employees to work. The Highway Department can address the question. Thank you. George Petranus, Water Sewer Superintendent. This is to replace a dump truck, a 2003 dump truck, 20 years old, that's beaten by constant use with heavy slop and rock. We have operators from the Sewer Department and the Water Department that can operate the vehicle. I'm talking about the new vehicle. Um, this is also a major thing when it comes to material moving from one site to another. Uh, that's uh, people without water. So the time, longer time it takes us to do this, the longer time you're without water. And we're throwing good money into bad with this other dump truck because we can barely find parts for it now. So it's a matter of a few things, not just uh, replacing a dump truck, adding a dump truck. We don't have any additional dump truck. This, this dump truck will go out and be sold off, and the new, dump, the, the new dump truck will be for us. Thank you. Thank you. Additional discussion on Article 21. Seeing none, we'll move Article 21 forward for a vote at this time. One is the affirmative, two is the negative. Successfully. Uh, at this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Mayor? We have a motion to adjourn. Do we have any seconds? We have a bunch of seconds. Do we have any discussion? We'll just do a voice vote. All in favor? 
meeting adjourned at 8.07, Chief.